Hiya YouTube, this is Redlore, back with a yet another episode of my Minecraft Feed the Beast Let's Play series. Yeehaw! Um, a couple things for this episode um, <clears throat> that I've actually I've written down, we're going to do them. Um, one, um, you'll notice that the flux um, in the area here has gone down and is now none. Instead of high, like it has been um, since I created my boots and... Uh, my goggles and my portable hole and some of all the other stuff where I was like flooding the cauldron with junk. I'm going to pull up all my Thaumcraft stuff and practice magic not where I live. Um, wisps and other bad things started happening and I just uh, I quite frankly don't want that anywhere near my house. Uh, there is apparently a, um, an aura node here in the tree you can see. I guess this is the little magic -y stuff that's replenishing the V because the hole, the portable hole, uses some of that. <laughs> Alright, um, and just using it you can see that it's it's increasing. It is now minimal instead of none. Anyhow, we're going to pull up all of our Thaumcraft stuff and we're going to move it somewhere uh, that is not nearby. Secondly, uh, we'll take a quick peek in here. Um, since I got... where'd it go? This Tier 5 Blaze uh, Soul Shard. Um, and you can see I have a soul cage here. Um, somebody mentioned that since I have the shard, I apparently can make a spawner in the overworld and control it with a redstone signal. Um, because the blaze grinder in the nether is not working properly because of chunk loading. Apparently chunk loading is hugely broken. Um, can't figure out what's going on. I've done lots of troubleshooting and placing and doing stuff as admin to get chunk loading to work, but it's not. Uh, the interesting bit is apparently my nether spawn chunk load uh, or chunk loader is working because I'm continuing to get lava. Don't know. So we're I guess we're gonna look into what it's gonna take to set up a mob grinder in the overworld using the soul shard. So first things first, um, I'm gonna go and find a location for, um, I thought I had some paper in here. We're going to go find a location for our uh, Thaumcraft room. As soon as I can find some paper, I will set off. Awesome. Get me, oh, there's all the stuff I need is already in here. Look at that. Get me a book. And we're going to go in search of an area to practice Thaumcraft. And... Okie dokie. I think I have found the location. I found a great big aura south of where I'm at. Uh, 767. Uh, it's as good a place as any, and it's quite a bit of a ways. <laughs> from where the house was, and he was up in the tree there. I don't see the actual node, however, that, uh, that this is feeding off of, so... I don't know. We will, uh, <clears throat> we will clear all of this out. And... There we go. Um, let's see here. How do I want to accomplish this? I think... Let me go over here first. And... Fix this guy. I think we're going to use the filler to clear and then... Um, and then build that out. Alright, so let me, I've got some landmarks, I've got the filler, I've got an energy test right, I've got a energy cube around here somewhere. Is it in my bag? It is. Awesome. Alright. And let's see here. Uh, I want to build it out of nether bricks, sure. And I'm also going to need bricks and glass. 
All right, so let me head back there and get the uh, filler or the whatever this is. What is this? Yeah, the filler set up. All right, I think I've got these all lined up. Let me go ahead and drop in our pieces here. This guy's gonna go here, I believe. I'm gonna set this guy like so to clear. case there's any discrepancies in the terrain, something like that. And drop in our energy cube. Look at that. Zip zap. Hmm, why isn't it clearing up? I need to clear out all of that. That's not entirely how it works. See if it did clear out everything. It did. Just to that one layer. Okay, so I guess we'll try this again. There we go. I think we got it that time. Just had to put another landmark torch up in the tree there somewhere. Alright, there we go. And I wonder if that'll work with two. There we go. Awesome. Excellent. So now I can begin building my room. Which I believe I will make happen using the floor again. Oh. I think. We'll see. Okay. I believe I've got this set out. Um, six tall. Put this guy down. And... Th oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do yet. Whoa! So easy to overshoot dirt with the drill. Alright. I need to do this first. Doesn't seem like it's going to be tall enough, but Okay, fair enough. And then the filler. You can get my torches. I'm sorry, my landmarks. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what's wrong. To pull this guy back up. <clears throat> I don't want it filling this bottom block. I want it to fill... I want it to fill down to there, don't I? Mm -hmm. I think I do. Well, let me fix that. This may be the only thing we get done this episode. Who knew? There we go. Alright, let's try this again. They won't let me connect them? What's up with that? Or can I just not click on it? Here we are. Ta-da! That looks a little better. Okay, give this another shot. Shall we? That looks more appropriate for the height now. Okay. Um, and apparently, we do something like this to tell it to build a structure, and then we're going to fill it with our bricks, which I'm sure I don't have nearly enough of, and then we tell it to go. That's what I thought. <laughs> Not nearly enough bricks. That's okay. 
Uh, we'll come back and we'll fix that after I... I think I can use the compressor to stuff netherrack in and get bricks. So I will do that and be back once I have some more bricks to put in this. And just like that, I'm back here. Got the room laid out. I guess the confusion altar will be the center of the entire room. Uh, got to decide on a corner. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why the blocks aren't drawing, or the the tape is still there in the corner. Um, we'll do this corner, and we'll do a. We'll do water here in the corner, and we'll do um, a one block, and we'll do our cauldron. Right there. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be able to fill it up easily. Awesome. And hopefully that should be close enough to the infusion altar, and we can put the desk and the other stuff around the, the edges of the walls. So let me go and finish getting this set up, and I'll meet you back here once I've got all of the Thalmcraft equipment moved over. And done. Or mostly. Um, I'm thinking, since this is a room devoted entirely to magic, um, that it should be lit by magic. So I was looking at the Eternal Flame, and I recall seeing something about light. Um, do not produce much heat. Could provide a steady source of light. So we have four Ignis, six Lux, and four Potentia for, I guess, one of these things. Um, and I went and I got some stuff. Glowstone and coal. Um... <clears throat> this will provide, two of these will provide enough, um, I've forgotten already the symbol names, Potentia and Ignis, the coal, so two of those, and then we need six, uh, Lux, which will be two of the glowstone powder, awesome, and it takes five beasts, so... Um, just make five. Five of each. Well, oh, half of it made it in. Mercy me. Let's do it this way. Oh! Oh, I put too much in there. Okay. That'll be alright. Lessons learned. And if I smack this one down, I get Nitor. Yep. But I just got one. Oh, ha 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 ha. Okay. Counting for the win. Alright, let's try this again. Still don't know why it's doing that. That's okay. Wait for this to bubble. Apparently if I put it in too fast, it will... Alright, so... One, two... There we go. And then... So what I'm thinking is um, replacing torches. Yeah, that'll look awesome. Even more, I think I'll move them down more. Are we? 
protected from the sounds of rain, or is that just from me? Yeah, so apparently, like, freak thunderstorms is common <clears throat> if the flux gets too high, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. There we go. I like it. That's not where I wanted you to be. Was that where I wanted him? Yeah. Well, that will work out quite nicely, I think. I like it. All right. So let me, uh, you know, let me, let me wrap it up here. I think I've probably derped around enough this episode getting my Thawncraft room stuck back together. So I'll finish lighting him up with Nitor here and getting the torches taken down. And it'll be good stuff. And we'll catch you guys next time. So I appreciate everybody watching. Um, I appreciate all the subscriptions. I appreciate all the comments. Um, some of these things that you guys have told me about, uh, I couldn't imagine having, or rather haven't even seen on the wiki, some of these things. So, <clears throat> um, I think next episode we're going to tackle a blaze spawner in the overworld. That will be interesting. So, Alright guys, it's been nice to have you along. So, until next time, have fun.